Hey, it's Mr. Church again. And we were talking last time about rhythm and notes or pitch, different sounds. That's all that music is, rhythm, like the beat that we've been doing, rhythm and pitch, sounds. And I told you that the first instruments were created and made to sound like the instruments of around us, the animals around us. This one, this is a song called The Flight of the Bumblebee. It's supposed to sound like a bee fluttering around. Sound like a bee? Kind of moving all over the line, flirting around in different places. And so that's what instruments were designed to, to do, is to make something sound like something else. Now, I want you to just look up into that tree right there, and you'll see that there's movement in the branches. And that movement is the wind. There's sounds in music that are supposed to sound like the wind. Listen to this. And that's supposed to imitate the wind movement in a tree. But the most important thing that we've learned is that anybody can make music. You can make music. When you take those instruments at your house, pots and pans, you change them from just ordinary pots and pans into something special, into some great musical masterpiece. That's what the early musicians did, and that's what you, early musician, that's what you're going to do. This week, I want you to think about creating a new piece of music The only you know how it goes. You're going to make it sound the same. So you're going to take your pots and pans or your sticks, whatever you're using for rhythm, and you're going to use your voice to imitate the sounds of birds and, and animals around us. And you're going to make a song. It doesn't have to have words, but you're going to make a song. Did you hear that? That was the sound of a metal pipe. That could be a, one of your instruments. Okay? So I'm looking forward to you sending me some of your songs that you're going to make with your instruments and singing. Bye.